Hey Trombones, today we're gonna to be learning a new lesson in our book, but first let's talk about that slur step that we were just doing in our warm up. So as you know, that first note in slur step is our low B flat, and we go up to the F. Now when we come down our sequence, we're playing all of the notes in between the F and the B flat. So as our slide goes lower, the notes go lower as well. So today our main focus is we're gonna be putting some letters to those different positions as we go down. We already know that the first two letters are B flat and F, and those are both in first position. Now, when we go to second position, after we come from the F, it's gonna be our E. Third position is gonna be E flat. This is one of the ones that we're focusing on for today. So third position, E flat. Everybody say E flat. Good. I know that we haven't really talked too much about what a flat is or what it does, but we will later, don't worry. Right now, all you need to know is that third position is E flat. So let's go ahead, we're gonna play our slur step, and this time we're going to stop on our E flat. So it's gonna be first, first, two, three. Remember, three is E flat. Here we go, try it with me. Every note's gonna get two beats. Horn comes up, unlock your slide so that we can move it. Here we go, starts on B flat. One, two, ready. Freeze, come back up, try it again, stopping on E flat. One, two, ready. up and relax. Remember, as we're playing these different notes, you have to tongue every time we move that slide. If you don't tongue, it's gonna sound something like this. Right, it's very muddy, it's very unclear. So tonguing the note makes the, the note start right where it's supposed to be, and also it gets rid of all those extra notes. It gives you time to move to that next position because our slide needs to move quickly and then freeze into the next slide position. Moving on, the next one that I wanna focus on for today is gonna to be fourth position. This is our D. So fourth position is what letter? D, good. So we're moving down, starts on F, E flat, E, D. Let's try that in our slur steps. We're gonna start on B flat, just like we did before. Horn comes up. Here we go, stopping in fourth position. And one, two, Ready? Freeze. And come back up and relax. Now what I'd like to try is we're just gonna play right on the D. So we're not gonna, now that we've worked our way down to it, I'm gonna see if we can start right on that pitch. So in your head, you're thinking B flat, F, E, E flat, D, sounds like this. Let's try playing the D. It's in fourth position. Here we go. One, two, ready. Back up and relax. So that is what just the D sounds like by itself. Now let's try playing just the E flat. So we know it's going to be higher in pitch because it's higher on the staff. So working our way to it. B flat, F, E, E flat. Here we go, let's try playing E flat, third position. One, two, ready. And relax. So now, open up your book to lesson one. If you look at the top of the page, you'll see those two notes that we were just working on. So we have our D, which is on that third line, fourth position. Moving over to our E flat, it's on that third space. Remember, we always count from the bottom. And it has that little flat sign right in front of it. That's how you know that it's E flat, and that is in our third position. I'd like to look at line number three. This is gonna be a combination of both of those notes. As you can see, all the way through the, li the line, we have our whole notes, which take up four beats, followed by whole rest, which also takes up four beats. So we're gonna play the note, rest for four. Play the next note, rest for four, so on and so forth. So as we look through this line, we'll see that we start on a D, which is fourth position. So go ahead and go there on chin. 
and then we rest for four. And then guess what? We stay on D again. So you stay right there. Rest for four. Next note is E flat, so go to third position. And then we rest, and then E flat again. So here's what I'd like to do is we're gonna play through that third line with our metronome. Make sure you're looking ahead. Move to the next position during the rest. Here we go, try it with me. Horn comes up, starts in fourth position. Go ahead and go there. Listen to what that note is. Da. Here we go, all the way through line three. And one, two, ready, go. Rest, two, ready. Move to third, it's higher. Rest, two, ready. Rest, two, ready, and freeze. Come back up to first and relax. Good job, we're gonna try playing that line one more time. I'm not gonna help you out this time. Make sure you look at the page, it has all the answers. Here we go. Four beats for everything. Horn comes up, go to fourth. Here we go, and one, two, ready. to do is line number four so if you take a look this time it's going back and forth between those two notes but we still have the measure of rest in between so let's go ahead we're gonna go to chin and we're gonna practice it one time on chin here's that first note oh, sounds like this here we go go to chin go to fourth we're gonna sing and one two ready go four rest move to third ready go three rest move to fourth ready go four rest move to third ready go three rest two three four freeze let's play it here we go let's go back to fourth Four starts in fourth, which is our D. Here we go. And one, two, ready. Ready. Back to fourth. Back to third. for today is we're gonna look at line six so this time we're putting two of them back to back there's no rest going from the E flat to at to the D but there is a rest in between the next two measures so take a look starts with our E flat which is third position E flat and then we go down to D for four beats and then we rest and then it goes backwards. It starts on the D, so we don't need to move. Keep it right there. It starts with D, and then it comes up to E flat, and then we rest. And then those last two are gonna be E flats in a row. So this day it's a little tricky, right? It keeps going back and forth. You gotta keep your eyes on the page so you know what comes up next. We're gonna try that line on chin first. Same thing, we're gonna sing the positions. It starts on E flat, so here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Da, E flat, three, here we go, try it with me on chin, three, go ahead and go there, tap your foot, here we go, one, two, ready, go, three, four, rest, two, stay right there, four, three, rest, stays on three, ready, Go, three, three, freeze, come back up and relax. So, important thing here is that the start of each one of those whole notes, you have to tongue. 
You have to, have to, have to, or we're gonna get the smear sound. And then the last one, even though it's two E flats in a row, it's the same position, but you have to tongue so that we can hear the start of that next whole note. So let's try playing it this time. Good, bring up your horn, go to third position. Here we go, we're playing all the way through, nine, six. Tap your foot, and one, two, ready. Super important, got a tongue every note, eyes on the page. Here we go, last thing. Horn comes up, starts in E flat, which is third. Tap your foot, and one, two, ready. first before you bring your horn down that way your slide doesn't accidentally hit the stand or hit the ground just so we're being extra careful so keep up the good work look at those other lines on lesson one you can go ahead and try to play those ones remember our focus was E flat which is third position and D which is fourth position always making sure we're tonguing every note getting those E flats and D's happy practicing <laughs> 